Thursday evening, the WSU Cougars took on the Seattle University Redhawks in the first game of a three-game series. In the top of the second, Derek Jones made a sliding catch in left field to start the game off. J.D. Leckenby made a strong start for WSU, pitching eight innings, allowing only four hits, one earned run, and striking out two. Jason Monda kept the deficit at one with a diving catch in left field. Kyle Johnson tied the game in the eighth inning with a single to center, scoring Ian Sagdahl. And the Cougars walk off with a 2-1 to one win when Sagdahl hit a sacrifice fly to center field. Yeah, you know, we haven't won a lot. We haven't had a lot of comfort behind wins. It seems like when we when we have won, it was we, we, we jumped out early. That's what good teams do, and the whole key is score more than the other team, but I'd sure like to score more than we did. On Friday, Joe Pistorisi threw seven strong innings, allowing just three hits, zero runs, and fanning seven. Taylor Ard started the scoring with a run-scoring single in the first inning. And Derek Jones tied Jeff Hooper for the all-time home run mark at WSU with 40 home runs in the third inning. Deep into the afternoon it goes, and it's a home run! A home run for Derek Jones to tie the record at Washington State as he hits not only number eight on the season, but number 40 in his career. And he's now tied for the all-time lead at Washington State. You know, it's definitely special to me, but... It's just numbers, man. It's it's all that hard work I put up in the cages. The coaches for giving me the opportunity to play every day and give me the opportunity to play in this league. And so I'm blessed for that. So I'm just kind of taking it all in stride. Patrick Clausen will push the lead to three to zero with an RBI double in the same inning. That's gonna go off the wall. And will come Taylor Ward. It's an RBI double from Patrick Clausen. And all of a sudden, the offense being unleashed by the Cougars here in the third inning. Catcher P.J. Jones knocked in two more with a solid single. P.J. would tally two more with a triple to right field in the sixth inning. Field drifting back to right field. We're not going to get to it. It's over his head. It's off the wall. Jones into score. Ard into score. P.J. Jones racing around into third base. And the Cougars have reached double digits here in the sixth inning. Ty Jackson would highlight the eighth inning with a triple to deep right center. It's, it's good to get out there and get some runs up on the board. Um, it helps pitchers a lot like that. And I mean, it's great. And it, hopefully we can keep momentum going to the next couple games. So we'll see what happens. Saturday afternoon, the highlight of the game went to Taylor Ard with a solo home run that gave the Cougs a one-run lead in the bottom of the seventh. WSU would take two out of three games in the series. WSU plays Portland on Tuesday and hosts Utah next weekend for Moms Weekend. This is Alex Clark for WSUCougars.com.